so far? Yeah. I couldn't quite hear that. I said, are you enjoying the weekend event so far? Yeah! yeah. Can we get a lighter? One, two, three! Yeah! I almost heard that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, it's been a real honor and a privilege to be here with you and to celebrate the departure of the Galloway Board. I hope you're having fun. I know I certainly am. <laughs> but before we continue, um, I just want to take a short moment to reflect, to share some highlights and to say a few words about Galloway Board. Today, I've seen brave new recruits fighting in the shield wall, learning how to walk, but work together so that they will never be alone. I've seen curious crafters and artists learning the secrets of how things are made and how to make things beautiful. I've seen intrepid explorers learning how to row so that they can follow their dreams beyond the horizon. I've seen a community of people coming together to celebrate an important part of our history and our heritage. And wow, what a marvellous parade. Look at you all. <laughs> I think probably all of Galloway heard us coming. What do you think? Can they hear us? Yeah. Can they hear us? Yeah. I think that on this day we raised our voices loud enough um, to call across time itself. We called to all the people of Galloway who came before us to honour their memory and to celebrate the rich heritage of this land. Over a thousand years ago, some people of Galloway gathered together a collection of objects. They gathered silver, they gathered gold, they gathered relics and jewellery and exotic clothes, and they buried them. They buried them deep in the earth, treasure hoard rich in its material value, but also in its spiritual value, its sentimental value. Unfortunately, we'll probably never know who those people were and why exactly they buried it in the ground. But we do know that when they placed it in the earth, they caught their last glimpse of it. They would never see it again. I often wonder how those people felt when they put it in the ground, when they said their farewells to the Galloway. <laughs> Yeah, probably that. Yeah. <laughs> Were their hearts filled with sadness or joy as they said their goodbyes? Well, this weekend we are gathered to say farewell, but unlike the people of the past, we can see it again. For this weekend, we send it on its journey to Aberdeen and then to Edinburgh so that we can share the rich heritage of this national treasure and spread the fame of Galloway far and wide. Galloway! Yeah, hi to Galloway! As we say farewell to the Galloway Horde, let us remember the people who buried it all those years ago, who let go of the bonds that bound them to the physical objects. May we recognise that we've all been touched by this treasure, this special piece of history that is now a part of our story too. We are all guardians of the horde, keepers of its memory, of its legacy, and of its intangible cultural heritage. Can I hear a cheer from all of the guardians of the horde? Hip -hip! Hip -hip! We brought for you a representative from Aberdeen. And to her, I am going to pass on the Galloway horde. We pass it on with joy. We pass it on with pride. We pass it on with hope that it will inspire others the way that it has inspired us. Thank you, everyone. And now, the part that I'm sure you've all been waiting for, I invite you to our boat burning ceremony. Uh, kings and queens of old were sometimes buried in boats, perhaps to carry them safely to the afterlife. Fire too has played an important role in ceremony throughout the ages. It transforms things from the physical to the spiritual realm. 
As we burn the boat today, may we let go of the bonds that tie us to the physical objects that make up the Galloway Horde as we send it on its journey, knowing that its spirit will always be here in Galloway and in our hearts. Galloway Longfada, may I ask you to please lead the way to the viewing platform. Thank you. 